very much. The temperatures remain high. The market goes up and down. Tony Hansman is here from Guardian Financial Advisors. Thanks for coming on the show. Appreciate yeah, absolutely. it. It's, it's been a volatile month, to say the least. It is. June it has is. Been. The market dipped below 12,000. Now it's uh, almost at 12.5. That's right. Um, we have a couple questions here from viewers. Very good ones, and uh, you hear these a lot, I think. Um, here's one. I've been buying and selling stocks, but I have a lot more losers than winners. Please help. You know, what can you say to this person? Yeah, I think this is just about everybody. Out it, there. it is. <laughs> I hear this one all the time, and, uh -huh. and actually, I think you're going to be surprised. It's an easy fix. Okay. And the answer is, is you have to simply get control of your emotions. Okay? Right. Right. So, so here, here, let me give you an example. Okay. If you were to buy uh, a forty dollars stock, let's say silver, and it's an ETF. Okay? okay. The problem is, is we go in to buy this particular stock with one price in mind that we're going to sell it when it goes higher, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's our big mistake. Okay. You have to go in before you buy the stock with two prices in mind. One if it goes up, one if it goes down. Okay. So the idea is, is that let's say we have two sales price, one at 36, one at 48. If it hits 48, that's a 20% profit, we're out. That's right. If it goes down to 36, we have a 10% loss, we get out there too. But do you think people sell when it hits 48? No, I'm sure they're still like, oh, it'll go back up, it'll go back up. 50, 60, 70, you know, we get greedy, we, our emotions set in. Right. So what happens is that guy, he sells at 36, he's back at the water cooler griping the next day saying right. that, hey, look, uh, the stock market's too risky, it's not for me. Stocks aren't the problem, it's our emotions that are problems. Uh, bulls and bears, they make money, you gotta stay disciplined. Okay, all right, uh, I'm considering buying a software program for 4,000 bucks, it'll time the market for me. What are your thoughts on that? And what does that mean, time the market? Time the market is, is just an idea of it tell, a computer, computer software system is going to tell you when to buy a stock and exactly when to get out so you never have a loss. How does a computer software system know that? Exactly. So the idea is I know a lot of people who spend a lot of money on these programs. Uh -huh. I don't know anybody who's actually made money in the long term doing it. Okay. So you don't see any market timers on the Forbes 400 list. Right, right, <laughs> All right. right. So, so um, be careful because I see financial advisors, some of them use this technique for their clients, the people who are disappointed are the clients. Uh -huh. So I would tell this guy here, take the $4,000 and take all the money that you know that you're spending on the, the money magazines and all the financial newsletters, uh -huh. right. throw them out the window, get yourself a diversified portfolio, remember to rebalance, find something that fits your credit risk, and um, let the market be your friend. But uh, let the money managers, let the third-party money managers who have timed the market, okay, uh -huh. who've done it successfully for 10 or 15 years, let them do that and you stay away from it. Invest your money someplace else. Okay, Tony, do you have an email address so people can reach you? It is uh, thansman at cox.net. Uh, okay, or, or people can find you on the website, tonyhansman.com. Two right. ends there at the end. Okay, Tony, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. You Thanks bet. for helping us out.